Are you annoying? Our ancestors probably wondered what their tribe used to think. Nowadays, you can just log into social media and notice what others are thinking. How someone uses their social media says a lot about them. They share their internal world with the external world. Some of them act fake, yes, but others give clues. There are so many people who are dope as hell in real life. However, when you see their social media profile, they seem like a whack job. There was this one kid in my hometown who was a great club promoter. He knew all the people in the city and turned a dead club into one full of life. Everyone in West Palm Beach knew him. Let's call him Tommy. As Tommy's reputation started to grow, he got more vocal on Facebook. And boy, was it depressing. He was always whining about something. It wasn't just a short post. He created paragraphs talking about how the world was out to get him. This was very surprising considering Tommy was such a cool guy in real life. The online version of him was the polar opposite. Which was the real side? My intuition says it was the online side that was real. It was crazy because the two sides were so different. One year, I was in charge of creating and promoting events for my fraternity. Those events were ranged from tailgates, talent shows, to probates. Well, there was this guy from high school I used to know who would always comment, This is so gay, on my event posts. He wasn't trying to be mean. I knew this guy for a while. He was normally pretty cool. Offline. But online? His personality warps and he wants to feel heard. Time and time again, when I posted an event, he wrote, This is so gay. After some time, I had to block him for acting like a little kid. When I went back to West Palm, I ran into him. He asked why I deleted him. I said because he was writing inappropriate comments on the event invites. It wasn't a good look. Here's the kicker. He was shocked. He had no clue his comments were coming off as annoying. After I told him, he kept apologizing and said he'd never do it again. How does someone genuinely not know how it's in poor taste to keep writing this is gay on a public event? He seemed like such a normal guy offline. That's the thing with people. You can never fully predict them. The internet opens a new dimension on how people operate. The internet provides information that no other generation had access to. Someone's online behavior is very similar to getting drunk. Alcohol doesn't make someone do what they never considered doing. Alcohol makes it easier for someone to do what they always considered doing. People who are an angry drunk often have a lot of demons, no matter how normal they seem sober. People who are happy drunks are gentle souls to the core. Anyways, you may be wondering... When's this guy going to answer if I'm annoying or not? Truth be told, I can't do that. My best advice on this one is to just say, treat others how you'd want to be treated. That's it? Yeah, bro. That's it. When you make it too complex, you'll overthink this one. The simple framework of treating others how you want to be treated puts you more in charge. When you're too curious about looking for frameworks on what is annoying and what isn't, then you run the risk of becoming judgmental. Sometimes you just need to third perspective yourself and see if you'd want to be your friend, online and offline. Don't be the person who's just cool offline and annoying as shit online, and vice versa. Be charismatic everywhere you go. Make charisma a part of your core.